Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie. I do bookish planning and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. And today I have a goals update. So lifestyle today. Um, I hope you enjoy and let's dive right in. So grab a beverage. I have water and my tea here and I have a notebook with all of the things written down. Starting work-wise, so this is YouTube and writing. I plan to finish my third round of edits on Crossed Chains, which is my current whip, uh, work in progress, and it's coming together so nicely. The second round of edits was actually a little bit difficult because... <sighs> I ended up adding another POV that just that really brought the story together and made everything flow so much nicer and this character came to me literally in a dream and they just fit so well so I added that POV in the second round of edits um, that was just finished pretty much so um, I took some time off from editing and now I'm going into the third round and I want to have this done <sighs> before baby gets here so I'm really enjoying this third round of edits there's a few scenes that I want to add still and a few sentence structure grammar stuff but this will be hopefully my final round before I send it off to someone to read as like a beta reader and then for final edits so I'm super excited and talking about YouTube, coming back has been more, I think I put a lot on myself the first and second quarter of the year with doing a video a week because that is quite a lot, especially with pregnancy and house renos and July and June were actually, well, this first half of the year has been extremely busy for us and I think I just put too much on my plate. So... I'm going to try and do a video every two weeks and if that works out for me and I have some extra time or a video I'm really excited to film and you get a video a week in between those two then great um, but I'm not going to put so much pressure on myself to do a video a week but I want to do at least every two weeks um, and plan my videos by month I would really love to do so. That's my plan for work-wise. Um, home, it's very much the same. We want to do as much demo as we can before baby comes. I want to clean a room a day or and at least two house tasks. We've pretty much got baby set up, so that's done and ready for him when he comes. So that's already checked off the, pro uh, the list. And getting back into my projects and hobbies. <sighs> I've been crocheting. I actually finished a blanket, which is really great. So getting back into the hobby thing. Um, and then I really love painting. So I've been getting back into that. I'm actually working on a piece for our friends who are actually pregnant at the same time as us. And she's due a few weeks before I am. So I really want to get that done for her. Um, and I know that they were kind of working on their nursery these past few weeks. So I really want to get that done and over to them. And then last but not least, I just want to talk about refocusing tools that I really love to use. So that is journaling, anything. You can go on Pinterest, Google, and just look up some prompts, um, tarot readings and rune readings, oracle cards, whichever medium you love to use. I don't use tarot as an end all be all, but it is very nice to put a different spin on a situation or, you know, a problem or issue that you're having and just have another, a look at it from a different perspective. Having a clean space. I personally cannot think properly. It's hard for me to sleep if our space is messy. So these past few weeks have been quite difficult mentally because we had so much baby stuff. We hadn't put anything away. Our house was a disaster. We had people here. So it was just a little bit difficult to focus until I got that cleaned. Rituals. Rituals are really nice. Personally, when I'm done cleaning a room, I like to light a candle. That means 
cleaning is over for that specific room. I like to also light a candle. I stole this one from Sarah Cannon, but I like to light a candle before I sit down to write, before I sit down to work on a book. Um, it just symbolizes this is what I'm doing to my brain and I focus a lot better. And start somewhere else. If your living room is giving you a lot of trouble per se, start in the kitchen. You know that the dishes need to be done. You know that it needs to be vacuumed. The counters need to be wiped down. There's a process. And then you can just bring that and think about where you want to start into the next room. Alrighty, so those are all the refocus tools I use and goals I have for myself, my home, and my work going into the second half of the year, so quarter three and quarter four. We'll see how quarter three goes, and obviously I'll do an update, but going forward for the rest of the year, these are my goals. This is what I kind of want to focus on, and these are the tools that I use to help me do that. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.